Sandy. We do appreciate everybody coming. We had a uh, family, family reunion here earlier today. So uh, if you see me sleeping in the corner a little while from now, you'll know why. Tanya's like the Energizer Bunny. She never puts movement, so. this lesson was about and what Jesus was teaching is that God could provide the food of life and that Jesus is that living water, the living word. And if we go to God, he can always satisfy us. Now, in the world we live in, it teaches us to be unsatisfied. We like instant gratification. We like things to come quickly. And our world and our society teaches us to accumulate as many things. You know, we're supposed to be as wealthy as possible. We're supposed to be as popular as possible. We're supposed to be as powerful as possible. And we think these things of this world are going to satisfy us. But the truth is, none of that can satisfy us. The only one that can bring true satisfaction, the only one that can feed us in the way that we need it, the only one that can take away our thirst, with that living water is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. the song tells you that no matter who you are, once again, it doesn't matter your denomination, it doesn't matter where you go to church, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the faith, Christ opens the door on you all. When he calls you to the table, it's about forgiveness, it's about redemption, it's about his love. So as they bring communion around, remember that. It's about that connection of love that God has for you. It's about the broken body of Christ. It's about the shed blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary. So as we bless the bread, as we bless the juice this evening, we just ask that God comes into our hearts and that he revives us day by day. Let us pray. The trail he gathered in that upper room, he took up the unleavened bread and he broke it. He passed it among his disciples and he told them to take and eat, for this is my body broken for you. Take now and eat the Lord's body. And after they shared in that short meal together, he took of, took of the cup, he blessed it, he raised it among his brothers, and he said, Brothers, take and drink of this cup, for this is my blood, which is poured out for you. Take now and drink of the cup of the covenant of the New Testament. Jesus,